una luz de primavera con aire puro que libera mi corazón llegaste a mí con amor libre y sincero lo que yo siento es verdadero amor por ti cada día tu amor me da felicidad y despierta cosa que nunca sentí jamás creo que nunca entenderás lo que siento por ti lo que siento Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Love Loss. We're here with Nico. We are actually at the park. I look, I don't wanna, I don't wanna spoil. There's a lot over here that I placed and I don't wanna spoil it. So I just wanna show you how gorgeous the park is. I absolutely love this place. We're also in the middle of a heat wave in game right now, and it just it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love this spot in our new world. But we are here with Nico. It's about 5 p.m. He is probably a little bit warm, actually. Let me just um, let me change him into his hot weather because <laughs> he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be kind of sweating here in a second. So I wanna wanna give him a bit of a reprieve. There you go, bud. But he is here. He's gonna buy a bouquet of flowers and potentially a gift because him and Tulia planned a date for this evening. Yes, they did. I'll tell you a bit more about that in just a moment as we kind of try to pick something here. So it seems like buying a bouquet of flowers is the same as buying a gift. So we will do that. We're not going to go too nuts with this. I wanted him to get, oh, I guess it is separate. I, I was gonna say I wanted him to just get a bouquet of flowers. I don't wanna get the sweetheart box quite yet. <laughs> it, it's just, that's the next step, if you will. Um, I just want to get a bouquet of flowers, so maybe let's just try this other, buy a bouquet of flowers. There we go. It just didn't work the first time. Okay, so we have some, these are mostly like wedding bouquets and whatnot, but some of them are not. This is the first time, if you guys didn't know this, if you didn't know, there is this little like, it's not even really a rabbit hole, it's just a an object you can interact with where you can buy gifts and flowers and sweetheart boxes in the park. It is perfect. So he's gonna be buying some flowers here. I think, I think he's gonna get, I think he's gonna get this one because it's my favorite personally, but I feel like Tulia really loves the color orange and she likes purples and yellows and stuff. And I'm kind of seeing both of those colors here. So floral symphony flower bouquet. Sometimes one flower isn't enough. Sometimes not even two. That's why this variety flower bouquet is what you need. One type of flower to represent every bit of beauty and love that life has to offer. So we're gonna go ahead and buy that. And it's in our inventory now. I saw in watching my dear friend Aiden play the new Love Struck expansion that your Sims can hold these potentially, but uh, perhaps, perhaps not. I don't see an option in doing that. So, okay. Uh, but since we are here, his date with Tulia isn't until a little bit later this evening. We're going to plan that together and hopefully it works. I'm going to allow him to go um, take care of his business here. But I wanted to kind of recap a bit about last episode, as well as that little intro you saw. So that was actually Nico and Tulia's meet cute and their kind of sort of first date, if you will. I, I kind of combined the two, I think, for their story. I believe that they were out dancing. It's something they both love to do, especially Tulia. She loves dancing. I think because Nico's a bit more reserved, um, I think he really enjoys he enjoys the scene. He enjoys being surrounded by the energy, but he isn't uh, very engaging. But that night he saw her and just could not help himself. And then they went stargazing, they danced, and the rest is kind of sort of history. Uh, also last episode, oh, uh, you know what? We're gonna have him wish for love at this fountain. I'm sorry, I'm just discovering more in the park. I saw the sad bear over there. Maybe we'll talk to the sad bear. I don't really know. <laughs> but we're gonna go wish for love because last episode, Nico and Tulia went to their very first couples counseling session and it was really, really, really beneficial. And it was really positive. I think it was tough for both of them 
to kind of face the fact that they they are in a very broken marriage right now, but they were both kind of hoping for something good to come out of this. And I think it was the first time that Tulia realized that she doesn't want her marriage to end completely and that perhaps she's played a part in the fact that her marriage is so broken. That was really the big takeaway, as well as the fact that Nico has been a bit too reserved with his feelings over the years. He hasn't spoken about them, he's let things fall to the wayside, and they have both neglected their marriage. And what was suggested in the next week is that they try new things together, or at least, the way I interpreted it, try new things or also engage in one another's interests because that hasn't really been happening either. So I'm gonna take a quick screenshot of Nico making a wish at the fountain. He's wishing for love with a very, very big simoleon there. And he's so excited over it. We did get a moodlet for this as well, which I expected. It's an inspired moodlet that says, wish for love from wishing at Fountain of Dreams. It feels like love is around every corner. Nico, I hope that for you. I do, I do. I really, really hope that for you. Um, is the bear still here? You know what? We're here. We're gonna, t oh my gosh, so sad. Sammy the ring bear. We're gonna ask about sadness. Oh, and you can ask about all of the the stuff and things in regards to Love Struck. How interesting. Okay. Um, well, we're going to ask about sadness to kind of kick that off here. We might as well explore Sammy the very sad bear here since we're since we're here and have encountered them. <laughs> like, hey, what what's going on, my friend? The ring bear. Why are you so upset? Why are you so sad? Like <laughs> Oh, so sad. It's so sad. Okay, let's read this really quickly. Lots of reasons, friend. Cute. The main reason is I've lost my ring. Well, I sort of threw it in the nearby pond. <laughs> Please. I've tried fishing it out, but I'm terrible at fishing. That was always her thing. Oh, that's sad. If you are able to fish it out, let me know. That ring has some kind of special romantic magic about it. I can tell you more later. Okay. Where's the pond? I have a plan for this episode, but um, it's starting to dwindle a little bit here. How do we get this ring? I'm gonna figure this out. If Nico has to go fishing, so be it. We are back home and Tulia is actually freshening up for her little evening out with Nico. And because we haven't seen this yet, because I didn't show, I don't think I showed this in Create a Sim when I highlighted the family, but look at her beautiful back tattoo. It came with the Love Struck expansion pack as well. I love it. The color complements the dress she's wearing as well. And you know what? Our girl has still got it. She is stunning. She looks gorgeous in this dress, also from the new expansion, if you, did, if you couldn't have guessed. Um, and they are about to go out on their date. Now, Nico just got home, but the way that they decided to kind of do this, I don't I don't think it sounds silly, but he decided that he was going to basically pretend as if he was going to go pick her up for a date. So he's waiting outside for her to come out so they can actually go on their date and he can give her the flowers that he got her. I think I think it was something that the therapist recommended, you know, like go all out. Don't don't make it feel don't allow the mindset of planning something like this feel like a burden, you know, take it seriously. And I don't think that they necessarily saw planning dates as a burden, but I'd say that making the time for one another just in general kind of sort of became a burden because they had so many other things. Other things took priority over their relationship. And that was really, that was really the big thing. So um, I, do we have to do this as like a romantic gift? Is that how that works? Because that would be kind of a bummer if that's how that works because... Mm. Oh, give flowers. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe this will be a little bit different. I just, I didn't want it to be in a box. <gasps> oh my gosh, Nico. That's not a bouquet of flowers. That's, what is that? That is, that is, what? I, I don't even know what angle to look at this at. They're just, their faces are in the flowers. Oh my God. Okay. Um, well, let's just, what in the actual? That is not what I was expecting whatsoever. But he's just like, hi, my love. 
I got these for you. I, I thought I thought that you would like these. And she's like, flowers? Well, Nico, I mean, these are beautiful. Um, why did you get me such a huge bouquet of flowers like that? And he's like, I, I, I saw them and I thought of you and you know, you've been wearing a lot of orange lately and I, I thought that that would, I thought that that would kind of compliment that, show you that I'm kind of paying attention. And she's like, oh, well, yeah, I, I have been wearing orange lately. I, I didn't realize you noticed, you know, it's, it is, <laughs> they don't notice the little things or at least she didn't think that he noticed the little things about her. You know, you know what I mean? He, she didn't think that he was paying attention and he has been, he really has been. I also just want to note that Nico does have a happy moodlet right now because he's feeling close with, with Tulia because they're in therapy together. So there's been a lot, a lot of very healthy interactions that are going on between the two of them since they started therapy. And I think that that's so, so important. It's so important and it's making it so much easier. I actually think that she's going to ask about favorite author. They're gonna make some small talk before they go on their date. And I think he kind of asked like, you know, well, how, how was your day? You know, how was work? Because Tulia had work today and, and Nico didn't. Nico works nights as a reminder. So she had work today, it was a long day. Tomas and, and, and Crisos were just wreaking havoc in the house as she was getting ready. <laughs> and I think even Tomas was just like, oh my goodness, my sisters never look so beautiful. You guys are going out on a date. It's so nice to see that the, uh, the, the flame hasn't dwindled between the two of you type deal. And she kind of gave him this, this glare of, okay, okay, you're hitting a little bit too close to home there, Tomas, watch yourself. <laughs> and I think for Chris, as I open the calendar, I think for, for Chris, it was really surprising to see that his parents were getting ready for a date. Because he hasn't seen that happen in a very long time, if ever. So let's go ahead. We're going to create. Can we do it under event? We can't. Oh, okay. I didn't know this was a thing. I knew there were different kinds of dates and events that came with this pack. But there is a romantic repair date. Oh, that's perfect. I think that's what we're going to do. Romance can get too hot or too cold, leaving your romantic satisfaction in need of some care. The best cure might be to spend some time with each other. Go on a romantic repair date if things are not as satisfactory as you would like them to be. And I believe that's what we selected as what the two of them wanted to work on when they were at therapy last week. They wanted to work on the romantic satisfaction because... No, I'm sorry, they didn't. They wanted to work on their dynamic, but I still feel as though this will be beneficial because they, they kind of go hand in hand. So let's do a romantic repair date. And we're gonna go, of course, with Nico. No guest, we're not gonna have a guest tagging along here. So we do want to be friendly. I think that would be a huge positive. And you know what? Nico is planning on taking her stargazing just like their first date. <gasps> and reminiscing. Oh, we're gonna do that. Stargaze and cloud gaze, I think. What else do we have? Dance, save the moment. Mm, maybe not dance. Uh, uh, mm, do they want to go out dancing? I feel like they need some intimacy before they do all the fun stuff like that too. I was gonna say food because that's something that you know Nico obviously is very passionate about, but I believe that this would mean consuming food and talking about it. I don't want them to go out to eat because that's not his plan. So we're going to keep it simple. That's what I think we're going to do. We're going to be friendly. We're going to reminisce and star or cloud gaze as well. And where are we going to do this? You may ask. I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know where we're going to do this. Um, I don't want to go to like a lounge. I feel like we're going to go to this park. That's what I feel like we're going to do. Oh, I don't know. We are at this beautiful park. And Nico was just here a bit earlier, I know. But we're at this beautiful park. This was built by a gallery user, Helgi75. I'm gonna put it on the screen for you now so you can check it out if you would like. But it's so nice. I loved the park that was here. The build that was here was beautifully done. I just wanted something that was a little bit more colorful and a little bit more, I'd say, 
maybe family friendly. The other one was just very much catered towards kind of like singles hanging out and mingling and getting a drink and whatnot. And there is a bar here. Um, but this one was just really bright and, and vibrant and I, I loved it. So I wanted to place it down in my game. And this is where Nico has decided to take Tulia for their little date here. So I think what they're first going to do I didn't even realize that there's a, oh, there's already a blanket over here. That's so nice. Um, I'm gonna sneakily hire a vendor here. It's, that's something that I really wish we could not have to do. I wish that if there were certain um, objects and whatnot around that those vendors would just automatically be there. So I did have to hire a guitarist as well because I wanted to do that. I want them to watch a guitarist. I want them to sit here and just kind of chat, be friendly with one another and enjoy the performance as good or bad as it's gonna be because it seems pretty bad. <laughs> and somebody's tipping him. Oh, oh, oh no. And Je Jeffrey Langer, oh, okay. This is why you don't bring your Sims out in public, honestly. This is why, um, this is why you don't do it. But uh, even though his impulse was to argue with her about some things, I think what he's gonna do is he's going to give Tulia a heartfelt compliment. He's going to be like, you know, you know, my love, you, you look beautiful. I know I'm, I'm messing with the camera right now. I really wanted there to be a roof here, but I, I guess I, I can't do that without it being a problem. So um, we're going to, we're going to try this again. We're really going to try this again here. Um, everything's just, okay, there we go. I just wanted to set the camera. Thank you. <laughs> he's just like, you know, uh, uh, Tulia, you, you look beautiful tonight. I mean, you, you always look beautiful, but especially tonight. I think he's going to talk about cooking a little bit. And she's actually going to check him out and she's just going to be like, you, you know what, Nico, you look very handsome tonight. I, I haven't seen you wear that vest in a long time. You know, do you have to dig it out of the closet? And he's like, yes, I did have to dig it out of the closet. <laughs> I did. I haven't worn it in a long time. I'm surprised it still fit. You know, I've got, I've been uh, enjoying that food. I've been making a lot more. Um, what? No. Why? She, no, no, we're not swapping. Do you know what I should get rid of? I should get rid of the setting of self-discovery because I'm I'm a little tired of it, to be completely honest. Oh no, he wants to be mean. He wants to insult her. No, no, don't do that. And it got immediately replaced by praising her beauty, which is exactly what I just said he was doing. Oh, oh, Dominic, D Dominic, you are not the performer. This is the performer I hired, I believe. You're not it. No wonder you stink. Okay. Thank goodness. I just, I really needed, I really needed um, the performer to be better. <laughs> That's what I really, really needed. I also really need my Sims to just like sit at the table together as well. You know, I knew it was going to be really difficult to try to bring my Sims out on a date and to get this to work the way I wanted it to. I'm really doing my best. Please just know that. I'm trying to get them to talk about their interests and to reminisce. I want them to reminisce over photos in just a moment. So perhaps they've had enough of their performer and they're going to go <laughs> and they're gonna go like over here or something like that that might be kind of it might be nicer also i love this they kind of look like pinatas i i adore that i think what tulia is going to do i think she's going to say could i um could i show you some photos that i took the other day i think maybe she was in the office or something i don't think he's ever seen her office where she works like that's how disconnected they've been. And I feel like she's gonna show him some photos of her office and stuff. Cause maybe she did some reorganizing. I, I don't know, something something like that. That might be kind of might be kind of nice. Is that under gossip? Where where even is this? Hobbies? Where is share photos? Affection, compliments? Pardon me. I share photos. I I missed it. I just completely missed it. I wanted to share photos. I think that should be good enough yeah that's 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 it and he's just like wow it's it's wonderful you know i'd love to see your office sometime and she's like well have you been working on any new like recipes or anything is there anything you want to share with me like i feel like they're really hesitant to just talk about the things that they enjoy maybe because they've had this history of just writing the other person off or or seeming like they're disinterested and maybe to kind of rekindle that a bit, because they are they are having some small talk, which I, I think is critical at this point for them. But maybe they'll play the game in there as well. I think they're going to do that. That might be kind of nice, because I think it's a nice way to do it platonically to 
uh, to, to, to get to know another sim. I think that's kind of the purpose. Here, I'm just gonna small talk again. Oh, <gasps> Tulia! <gasps> oh, she's, oh, she said, she said I missed this man. <gasps> she said I missed him and I just wanna kill. Okay. Right? Uh, that was completely unexpected. <gasps> Again? Julia? Oh my. What? What are you? What are you? What are you doing? I'm at a loss for words. I am at a loss for words right now. It. They, they just keep. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let me take a breather and just explain what's happening. But first, let's read this moodlet. Birds and the bees from making out outdoors. She did this autonomously. This was not... We have to unpack this. We have to unpack this. Uh, the fresh breeze, the open sky. Not only is Tulia touching grass. Oh my god. But touching another sim in the grass. Life is good. Tulia's feet... Oh! <gasps> We also got the feeling fulfilled from being satisfied in a romantic relationship. Tulia is feeling fantastic. Knowing her relationship is in good standing, but does wonder if her partner feels the same. What happened in the two seconds that they were talking about their days and their interests that that... I... Okay. She's feeling great because they're in therapy together. I have... Hold on. I, I don't know what to do right now. They're both satisfied in their relationship. I'm so... <laughs> they're happy because they're in therapy together. Uh... The game has left me speechless. Okay, right. I'm going to make them play this game. We're going to just play thumbs up. We're not going to... We're not going to play woohoo. Oh my gosh. And Nico is feeling like... Oh, he is... He's also, like, ready to go. Oh, they can't even play the game. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay. Fine, 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 fine. Is it because it's not... Pause, everybody. This is what happens sometimes in LPs, okay? Maybe we just have to, like, actually place it on the grid and we can and we can play it now? Is that... Yes. We just have to actually place it on the grid. Okay. Well, they play this silly little game and not sit together, apparently. <laughs> I think... I think that Tulia actually let her guard down. This is the first time that she's allowed herself to let her guard down in so long. And the fact that Nico showed up with these flowers and has just been, she's gotten another glimpse of the man that she fell in love with, this nervous, reserved, thoughtful, observant man. And she completely just negated all of those parts of him. You know, he, he bought her those flowers because she'd been wearing orange lately. He was complimenting her with the sweetest of words. He was trying to engage in her interests. She was trying to engage in his. It may sound so silly that that was so overwhelming for her, but after years and years of just not feeling connected to him and having him drift farther and farther away without her wanting it to happen and even realizing it, I think it was really impactful for her and she just felt so overwhelmed and she just kissed him. I don't even know the last time that they were physically intimate with one another in any capacity. I mean, I mean a, a, a caress, I mean a hug, like anything. And Nico was so taken aback. I, I feel like he had no idea what to do. So he just let it, he just let it happen. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I think that he's so happy that it happened, but they didn't even talk about it. They just came in here and started playing this game. Like it never happened. <laughs> like, like nothing happened at all. Um, <laughs> that they didn't just kiss for maybe the first time in years. That his heart didn't feel like it was about to beat out of his chest from having his wife that close to him. That she didn't feel as though she'd been completely set ablaze at his touch again. Do you know what I mean? It's just... They didn't, it was so overwhelming. I don't think they even knew what to do with those actions. And she just, she hasn't felt that urge to be physically connected to him in so long. And it was just so overwhelming. She had to push it aside. But I feel like that's what happens with Tulia as well. Even though she can wear her, her emotions on her sleeve, I feel like when things are too overwhelming or if it makes her feel vulnerable, she will push those things aside very quickly. Whereas Nico is more willing to be vulnerable 
but doesn't wear his emotions on his sleeve that often. So when he chooses to be vulnerable, he doesn't mind. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I'm trying to have them share interests here. They're both getting really tired, which is kind of a bummer. Um, I'm going to have them discuss interests really quickly, and I'm going to have them, I think, reminisce over photos again, because again, we're trying to improve their romantic satisfaction on this date. And I'm just trying to make it successful, okay? I'm trying to just make it successful. But perhaps the way that they'll end their date here is they'll go over... Oh, wait, that's really that's really cute. That's really cute. I thought you could view it together, but you can't. Oh, the bear sleeping on that bench. Can't go there. That's, that's where I was going to send them so they could go look at the sky. <laughs> but I guess we'll find um, another bench. Is there another bench in this in this whole park? I could not find a bench as if my life depended on it. I literally couldn't. I wouldn't have made it. Um, the bear wouldn't get off the bench. So here we are. But I am going to have Nico give Tulia a tender embrace and then just give her a little kiss on the hands here. I just think he's so relieved. He's like, you know, my love, I'm, I just, I'm so happy that we decided to do this. I'm sorry if I've been quiet. I'm sorry if this hasn't been the perfect date I, I I don't really know how to do this anymore and I feel like she just leans into the hug and she's just like Nico it's I don't know how to do this either anymore and I I didn't know if I wanted to but I'm I'm really happy that we did this tonight and I hope that maybe we can do more of these things and and see if we can kind of repair this I just think it's the first time that she's really vocalized it as well with Nico being like I do want to fix this I do want to fix this. Like, I love you. I do. I love you. I forgot what it was like maybe to love you and be in love with you, but I'm hoping that we can kind of fall again. You know, she, she wants to fall in love with him again. She really, really does. And he is starting to get more whims to be kind to her. Not that he was ever unkind, but... <laughs> I think that he he's having this desire to be around her even more because things are po more positive. <laughs> They're better. They are better. I think that what she's going to do as well is I think she's going to... Mm, what can we do here? I, I guess, can we try to work? I'm going to try this. I'm going to have Tulia ask to work on their romantic dynamic just because it's something that they've already decided to do from having gone to therapy. But perhaps it's something that we can also be actionable with, with them, where she's actually going to ask to work on that romantic dynamic and have it be something agreed upon. I don't know. I'm just also trying to get screenshots. This is, this is not exactly what I planned. Now, let's see. Um, the date wasn't fantastic, at least by the game's uh, determination, I, I suppose. Well, that was a date. It was a date, right? Your sim has a little gift in their household inventory for a consolation prize. <laughs> to access the sim's household inventory, yeah, yeah, Okay, so we got the sequence of love candle bunch. Well, that's fine. Um, They're very happy. They're perfectly happy. There's banter. They feel fulfilled. And look at this. Okay, Nico has a, a mood buff. Just a fine, fine one. Well, that was a date. Not the fairy tale Nico may have imagined, but it certainly could have gone worse from having a romantic repair date. And she actually has the same, the same moodlet. But I do find that interesting because their satisfaction did increase to the point that she felt compelled to kiss her husband for the first time in years. And they are both satisfied. So things aren't exactly aligning the way I thought they would, but it's something. I'm not kidding when I say I closed this menu and their satisfaction changed again. They're both now very satisfied in their relationships. I'm gonna kind of chop this up to the early stages of repair and being extremely satisfied with the direction they're headed in. That's what that's what I have to kind of go with here, because despite being very satisfied, their dynamic in either category here, the family dynamic and the romantic dynamic, these have not changed. I haven't been prompted to change them or anything, and I didn't even get a chance to film it. But before I even popped open this menu, Tulia got a prompt to change from uh, romantic to romantically reserved, which... 
It didn't make much sense to me at all. It's like 4.30 in the morning, but Tulia is sitting here happy as can be in bed. And Nico is smiling. He's smiling in his sleep, but he's fast asleep. They were both exhausted when they got back from their little date. I, I feel like she, she got up just super early. She was kind of restless and couldn't sleep. Not in a bad way. I just think she's kind of reeling over that date. And she's just, she kind of, she kind of slept better with Nico back in the bed. She didn't think that was going to be the case. But yeah, she was actually really calm and happy to have him next to her. She felt relaxed but she woke up this morning just kind of restless and kind of a untamed ball of energy from how things have started to shift in such a positive way and I think it's a reminder thinking back to their first date of how quickly they did fall for each other and how easy it could possibly be to do that again you know what I mean it's it's on the horizon. She she doesn't feel as though it's out of her grasp at this point. And it's something that she didn't consider before. I mean, this is a huge shift specifically for her. Nico has been thinking of ways to try to get her back for so long, but now she's finally coming around to that possibility as well. And trying to find ways to allow herself to be loved like that again, too. And and really to allow Nico to love her the way that he that he wants to, it kind of goes both ways. You know, you have to love someone the, they, the way they want to be loved, but you also want them to be able to express their love for you in the way that feels the most authentic to them. So it's a balancing act for her. It really is. It's the next morning and we are up with Chris who is getting some pancakes before he goes to school in about 45 minutes. But I think this is where we're going to end this episode. However, I wanted to end on, on Christos because... We're actually going to be focusing on him a bit more next episode, I believe. Him and Tomas last time talked about the possibility of him asking out his classmate, Rosa. And Rosa is someone he is very attracted to. He has no idea if she's attracted to him, but he is very attracted to her. They are friends. They have good compatibility. And she is a love bug. So... We shall see. Um, I think prom was coming up this Friday. I don't think he's going to go to the extent of asking her out to prom. I think he wants to pursue a date, <laughs> like a real date, not just kind of this, not this event at school that carries so much weight for teenagers as is and that applies a lot of like pressure to her. I think he just really wants to ask her out on a date and see how it goes. So that is something that we will be exploring next episode. In the interim, I'm going to have him flirt uh with rosa he might actually call her when this happens yeah, we'll see how this goes but i hope you'll enjoyed this one um one thing that i am noticing maybe even more since a love struck came out is that dates are really really difficult to keep private and it's really, really difficult to stage things when your sims are out in public. So I apologize if there's some immersion breaking. I apologize if it wasn't the greatest date you've ever seen for a Sims LP. Um, but I did my best. And hopefully I made sense in my explanations for kind of what was going on. Because Tulia and Nico took me by surprise. But I think in a good way. So yeah, I hope you'll enjoy this one. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. And I will catch you next time I post a video. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Llegaste a mí como una luz de primavera, con aire puro que libera mi corazón. Con amor libre y sincero, lo que yo siento es verdadero.